What's up viewers, Rainbow Bob here and I have another Gears War 3 video for you to like and enjoy. And the topic of this commentary is going to be a crazy dream that I had last night. And I want to tell you all about it because it was so goddamn epic. And it starts off with me and I was running away from someone. Not quite at a running pace but I was trying to get away from someone in the sense of running. And I remember seeing this boy and he sort of sees me and he goes to head in my general direction as I'm heading towards him and he tries to cut across my path and tries to offer me a leaflet like people might do in the street without offering me something but he tries offering me something and I have to say no, don't think, don't want it thanks and the next thing I know it goes sort of black to a, a black screen and then I see Clint Eastwood walking with another guy towards me and I was just like, oh I don't recognise him, oh wait it's Clint Eastwood and then he went black again and then Hugh Jackman this time with a skateboard and someone was asking him for something and he was denying it, he's like no 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 I don't do that sort of thing, so like, I'll go on just do it, no I yeah, don't want to and then that, then it went to another sort of black screen in my dream and it got really weird because it then came to the guy who's in My Name's Earl who plays Earl's brother, I don't know his name but it was him and there was two guys ahead of him running and they're about of his build and he was lagging behind he was trying to drink some water and as he drew in the water in his mouth out of the bottle he then sort of spat it at me and gushes of it came out and it sort of hit against me and now I did not urinate the bed piss the bed ah, I didn't I swear, promise <laughs> but uh, it just covered me and before I knew it I was in a club of some kind and I'm, I'm not a club person, I don't think I've ever been to a club or a rave or anything like that in my life but I was in this huge club scene and there was it was mainly like a lot of girls as opposed to boys but there were some and then I saw four stormtroopers like the old Star Wars ones they all come in a line walking towards me and I thought this dream has just got weird and they, they walked past me and I think I hit shoulders with one of them and uh, I was near the the DJ at this point and he's saying right uh, we got only one more song left before so I can't remember but he said someone's coming on stage I was just like okay and he's like uh, any requests for us to play and there was murmurs from the crowd and I just shouted out play Star Wars and he's like right does anyone want any requests and I shouted louder play Star Wars I had no idea if, you know if I meant the Star Wars theme tune or whatever but I was like, play Star Wars! And then the guy says, alright, Star Wars it is then. And puts on this sort of remix of the Star Wars theme tune. And he plays he plays it. And the star Stormtroopers all start dancing. Like, completely in sync and everything. And everyone else starts joining in with this dance, apart from me. Because at this point, I sort of pull out my mobile phone. And I remember it being my old mobile phone, not my new one. That was weird. But I pull out my phone and I start filming it and I'm just like sort of saying oh look at this this is amazing this is gonna go viral and then there was a huge space in front of me where people could have been dancing but they weren't and everywhere I moved this space sort of seemed to appear and I was just like ah oh, forever alone right in this in the middle of this sort of dance floor and I, as far as I know I wasn't there with anyone and for some reason my dream went into sort of a zooming out phase where I was in almost like a theatre where all the dancers were at the bottom and the people in the higher seats they were all sat there but they were like in, in fancy suits and bow ties and one of them was Ronnie Corbett and I don't know why he was in there for any reason but he was in there and he, he applauded us and then that's the point in which I actually woke up now the, the next transition was weird because I fell asleep again and started to dream but because I knew I'd woken up I thought that it was real this this next dream and also everything in the dream felt real and at this point I, w I was trying to explain the dream to my girlfriend and I was just like yeah this is what happened this was what was going on and I went through it step by step and I was going through it slowly you know all the way from I was running away from someone don't remember who it was and then the boy, and then Clint Eastwood, Hugh Jackman, the guy from My Name is Earl, in a club, after the water comes all over me, stormtroopers. And it got to about the stormtroopers bit, and then my mind went back into the club, 
where me and my girlfriend were were there then there, but we were with the suit people up top, like near Ronnie Corbett. And at this point, you know, I said about small drums, we can see them down below, and then she sort of pulls me to sort of to turn my body, and then we just start making out. And I'm just like, this is quite weird, but at the same time, because it's one of those dreams you can you can feel things, and it felt real. I was just like, this is pretty cool. I've only just woken up. And then at that point, I woke up again, and I was just like, what the hell? I swear I was just awake, you know? And I that it was weird, man. I mean, if, if I could show you the dream, you, you would understand, and I hope for that technology to be invented one day, so we could like download our thoughts and stuff. And I would love to show it if we could ever do that in, in relation to this video, so people are like, oh, that makes a lot of sense. And... The dream was just totally awesome, and if you've had any dreams recently where you thought they were awesome, share them in the comments, or just any dreams that you have, you know, like Martin Luther King, I have a dream, you know, that sort of thing. If you have a, a vision of something, I'd like to know what yours are in the comments. I'd like to know if you also have dreams where you can feel like it is reality, and uh, yeah. But as far as the gameplay goes, this, uh, this was an annex... Well, King of the Hill, as I, I'm so used to Annex from Gears War 2, and this was a, a shutout. They didn't actually get a single point in the whole of the game, but it was actually one proper play on the other side, and the rest were AI, so can't really be blamed for that. I was under the impression that it was just a full team of people until later on, but, you know, fair play to the guy. I think he held his own when there was five of us just all against him and bots. He, he didn't really stand a chance. So it's not fair footage in a way that uh, it was the guy who who had it unfair. But, you know, I, as I said, it's always going to be the first get, first game, multiplayer gameplay that I'm going to show. And I try to make it exactly, exactly eight minutes so that when I upload it, you'll be like, oh, that's quite weird. But it's not, it's not a coincidence. I cut the video by... <laughs> exactly the right time to try and get it perfect, but Sod's no, Law predicts that uh, it's going to probably be about 8 minutes and 1 seconds. And uh, if you like this video, why don't you give it a thumbs up, go check out my other work, subscribe to my channel where I do videos two, about 2 times a week. I hope you like this video, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.